Fredericksburg. West of today, partly sunny with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. High in the upper 70s. So set up is back to normal or almost. I've, um, like I was saying, I wanted to um, change my setup. I have all the digital stuff on one side and all the analog stuff on the other. Now, obviously, on the other, there's still a lot of work to do. All of that going on right now that I got to fix and work. But uh, it's going to be uh, this week. I'm going to have all the analog radios there and everything. So that will be my analog setup. Uh, I've set, uh, took a decision because I don't have an antenna switch and switching antennas is a pain in the butt. You know, I'm connecting, connecting another and it gets a little uh, painful. And I don't want to have the same radio connected to uh, kind of a splitter type setup. So um, what I did is, uh, of course, I've got my SDR that is uh, on the W6LVP loop here. I've got the Yesu here on the sloper and my VHF setup will be this ICOM which right now is Until midnight, on the NOAA weather country. station from Burlington, Vermont and of course I've actually uh, plugged it on my PC with satellite tracking for Doppler with Ham Radio Deluxe um, so um, of course through a serial to um, this USB cable here is a serial Let's see it here on the corner. Serial to um, USB adapter for the radio. And so I can control the radio uh, as I want here. Wind. Example, Wind. So I just go to Amrita Deluxe. And here if I type 162550, I just change to the local weather station in Montreal. Going back here, 400, and there we go. So I can control the radio with M Radio Deluxe. And of course, that means satellite tracking software also can do it. So this will be, I, I decided to dedicate for the time being, it's not always going to be like that, but for the time being, my ICOM is going to be my VHF, UHF radio. It's going to be dedicated for that. I'll uh, not listen to shortwave edit for the moment. Although uh, unplugging the sloper from my Yisu and plugging it on the ICOM is not that difficult. Uh, so basically that's the setup for now. VHF, UHF on the ICOM, satellite tracking. Uh, honestly, I like the SDR for the uh, waterfall and all, but I have to say uh, that I actually find the um, satellite tracking and tuning around different satellites easier on an analog radio because of course the tuning knob helps tremendously in uh, making that happen. It's easier to tune in to different uh, ham radio operators on the satellites and follow the Doppler or the changes in the frequencies. So um, that's pretty much the setup now. VHF UHF will be this with satellite tracking and of course Amrater Deluxe Control and I'll be able to listen uh, of course it's on my mobile vertical in the backyard if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching